Hi there. Welcome to English for Everyone. My name's Lisa. And my name's Kevin. Today we're going to learn some real-life phrasal verbs, phrasal verbs that they don't teach in English books. Let's get started. We're going to learn and practice with these important phrasal verbs. Horse around, goof off, cuss out, piss off, and zone out. The first one is horse around. When children play rough, when they push each other and jump on the bed, but it's for fun. They're not fighting. They're just having fun. They're playing rough. They're horsing around. So horse is a verb here. It's an action. My kids horse around sometimes. Right now, these children are horsing around. So I tell them, no horsing around. Or don't horse around inside the house. Go play outside. These children are jumping on the couch. They're jumping on the sofa. They're horsing around. And for this one, we also have a noun form. Horseplay. Horseplay is not a verb. It is not an action. It is a thing. It is a noun. Horseplay. I don't like horseplay. There will be no horseplay in the house. It's a noun, but it has the same idea. Let's practice. Are the kids horsing around? Yes, the kids are horsing around. Are the kids horsing around? Very good. Are they going to get in trouble for horsing around? Yeah, they're going to get in trouble for horsing around. Are they going to get in trouble for horsing around? Very good. The next one is goof off. Goof off is a verb. It's an action. I tell my kids, don't goof off. Do your homework. So goof off is when you don't do what you're supposed to do. You're playing. You're not focused on your work. You're not focused on what you're supposed to do. So the kids in the class, when the teacher is not paying attention, they goof off. Play, talk, do things they're not supposed to do. Similar to misbehave. So goof off means to play around when you're not supposed to. They're supposed to be doing their schoolwork, but they're goofing off instead. So I tell the kids, don't goof off. Or I can say, no goofing off. Do your schoolwork. So we can use goof off in a continuous form. They are goofing off. They're not doing their job. They're supposed to be working. They're in the office. They're at work. But they're not. They're playing, talking. They're goofing off. No goofing off at work. I can say, no goofing off at work. Get to work. Do your job. Let's practice. Do the kids like to goof off when the teacher's not in the classroom? Yes. The kids like to goof off when the teacher is not in the classroom. Do the kids like to goof off when the teacher is not in the classroom? Very good. Are they goofing off at work? Yes, they are goofing off at work. Are they supposed to goof off at work? No, they are not supposed to goof off at work. Are they goofing off at work? Are they supposed to goof off at work? Very good. So, we have a verb, cuss. Cuss means to say bad words or to say cuss words. I don't cuss sometimes. I don't cuss in front of my children. I don't cuss in front of women. I don't use bad words. So, cuss is the action. They are cussing at each other. And the phrasal verb, cuss out, is when somebody receives the bad words. If he is cussing at the person, he is cussing out the person. Cuss out. It means to say a lot of bad words. It's strong. It has emphasis. Not just cussing at, but he cussed him out. So he is cussing at the person. But if it's a lot and it's strong... He is cussing out the person. Cuss is a verb. Continuous cussing. He is cussing out that person. We change cuss to the past. Cussed. The T sound. T -t Cussed. And it is a separable phrasal verb. That means if I have a substitution or a pronoun, I put it in the middle. If I say him, I have to put him in the middle. Cussed him out. I cannot say cussed out him. Him goes in the middle. 
cussed him out. So he cussed him out. It means he said a lot of cuss words to him. He cussed him out. Why did he cuss him out? Answer, he cussed him out because he was very angry. Let's practice. Are they cussing? Yes, they are cussing. Why are they cussing? They are cussing because they are angry. Are they cussing? Why are they cussing? Very good. Did he cuss him out? Yes, he cussed him out. Why did he cuss him out? He cussed him out because he got angry. Did he cuss him out? Why did he cuss him out? Very good. First, let's look at the adjective. It's a description. Pissed off. It's kind of bad, but it's not really a bad word. It's strong language. Pissed off. We use the t, -t sound for the ed. Pissed. And off together. Pissed off. Link the sounds. Pissed off is an adjective. It's the same as very angry. He's very angry. He's pissed off. Why is he pissed off? Answer. He's pissed off because he lost his job. He's really pissed off. Let's practice. Is he pissed off? Yes, he is pissed off. Why is he pissed off? He is pissed off because he lost his job. Is he pissed off? Why is he pissed off? Very good. Now we see the phrasal verb, piss off. This is a verb. This is an action. Sometimes people on bicycles piss off the drivers. That means the people on the bicycles get in the way and they make the drivers angry. The bicyclists make the drivers angry. The bicyclists piss off the drivers. It's a verb. Let's practice. Do people on bicycles piss off some drivers? Yes, people on bicycles piss off some drivers. Do people on bicycles piss off some drivers? Very good. We can use the phrasal verb in pass. Pissed. And it's a separable phrasal verb. It has to go in the middle. Him goes between. Pissed him off. So, he was supposed to be working, but he was sleeping at his desk. So he made his boss angry. He pissed him off. He was sleeping at work, and he pissed off his boss. So, for his boss, I use him. He pissed him off. Another example, if you want to say me, if something made you angry, you say it pissed me off. That really pissed me off. That made me very angry. Let's practice. When he fell asleep in his office, did that piss off his boss? Yes, that pissed him off. When he fell asleep in the office, did that piss off his boss? Very good. Zone out. Zone out is a verb. It's a phrasal verb. And it means when you don't pay attention. Someone is talking and your attention goes. You're distracted. You're daydreaming. Your brain goes somewhere else. So you zone out. When the teacher is talking and the teacher is boring, sometimes the students zone out. Do kids zone out in class sometimes? Yes, kids zone out in class sometimes. Do kids zone out in class sometimes? Very good. If we change the action to the past, zoned with a d sound, d, d, zoned out. Link the words, zoned out. So you can say, I'm sorry, I zoned out for a second. It means you weren't paying attention for a second. I'm sorry, I zoned out for a second. What were you saying? So the lesson was very difficult and the children didn't understand. So their attention went away. They zoned out in the class. Let's practice. Did the students zone out in the math class last week? Yes, the students zoned out in the math class last week. Did the students zone out in the math class last week? Very good. Why did the students zone out in the math class? They zoned out in the math class because it was difficult. Why did the students zone out in the math class? Very good. Thank you for watching. And if you're looking for some extra practice material, 
Click the link below and you can get the book that we use in our classes. You can practice speaking, listening, and reading. Thanks for watching.